guys what's going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video i'm going to be doing a review on the laneige lip sleeping mask now they have come out with two new flavors so in today's video i'm going to be talking about the grapefruit flavor as well as apple lime and obviously the original one which is berry now if you are a first time buyer you're not so sure if you want to go for the full size or the mini version or if you have already purchased it before and you do not know which flavor to opt for Hopefully this video is helpful for you because I really wish someone did a video like this because it would have helped me save some of my hard earned money because I have some opinions about these. Now before we can get into the good stuff do not forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever I upload and now let's jump right into the video. So first let's get into the nitty gritty details and now as you guys know this is a South Korean brand and I am totally into K-drama for the last 4 to 5 years so sarang <laughs> I'm not much into K-pop but I love K-drama ask me about any top Korean TV show okay now coming to the point I'm getting really deviated so these I remember how huge of a hype it had cost uh, when it launched in the United States especially on these lip sleeping masks and uh, I had to get hold of it as soon as it got launched in India I think it was about a year year and a half back on Nykaa that it launched now all the three flavors come in the full size version which is priced at 1150 rupees for 20 grams of product when the mini comes only in the berry flavor which is priced at 500 rupees for 8 grams of product now coming to the packaging this is the box that it comes in which has the flavor right on top as well as all the details and it has an expiry of 12 months and also this is the apple lime one and it is just color coordinated but everything is exactly the same no changes no difference whatsoever and in the inside it comes with a silicone tip applicator as well as the instructions which is weird for a lip balm but yeah it comes with an instruction now in the mini size version you do not get the applicator and this is how the packaging of the full size version looks like which comes in a protective uh what do you call this protective I don't know but you guys get what I mean it comes with this thing <laughs> and here is the lip balm so this is the size difference between the mini and the full size version so let's talk about the flavors now let's start with the original one which is the berry flavor now this smell is a very sweet strong strawberry kind of a smell which I personally like now when I say strong it doesn't mean that it's like overbearingly strong it has a subtle smell but out of the three that is the strongest out of them the others are a little bit more subtle so you can kind of smell it as soon as you apply it and I personally like that so I generally prefer like a fruity perfume or anything related to fruity gourmet kind of a one I really love it so for me I really do like the berry scent now when it comes to the taste there is no taste at all and the reason I'm saying that is because when I reviewed the lip smacker lip balm that had a taste I could taste the sweetness it was literally like tasting something sugary you know when you lick your lips but then in this there is none at all you cannot taste anything it is completely flavorless but it has a scent and now about the grapefruit let's talk about the grapefruit one now that is a kind of a citrusy kind of a smell now personally it's just a personal opinion I do not like citrusy smell when it comes to lip balms or uh, lipsticks or anything of that sort the main reason is because I like citrusy smell when it comes to room fresheners body wash or even deodorants for that matter something to uh, refresh and liven up the room or something of that sort but when it comes to lip balms I generally prefer like a sweet smell like a berry smell chocolate smell something of that sort rather than this but again it's just a personal preference and a taste so for me I like it but it's not something that I would actually reach for you know now moving to the apple lime one now the apple lime was something that I was kind of surprised I was expecting it to be more of a lemony kind of a smell which again like I said before I do not prefer much of a limey lime limey a uh, lime kind of a smelling uh, lip balms but then this one reminds you of 
Um, do you guys know Poppins? You guys better know Poppins. If you're a 90s or 80s kid, you better freaking know Poppins. So in that, the green color one, that is how this smells. It completely reminds me of the Pali Poppins, especially of my childhood. So it smells very nostalgic for me and I really like it. I enjoy it. Now again, it is not super strong or anything, but when it comes to the strongest, to the most subtlest, subtlest? The most subtle smelling lip balms, I think the top one will be the berry one. Next is apple lime and then is grapefruit. I feel like the grapefruit is a little bit more of a very light smelling one, which is okay. Now, one other thing about the flavors, I remember that there were a lot of teasers about it in the Laneige, uh, the Instagram account, about the new flavors that is launching and everything. I was not expecting these flavors. I was actually excited for vanilla and sweet candy, which is there in the United States. Now, I love anything vanilla and anything sweet or candy. Like I said before, I love anything fruity, sweet, gourmet. That is like my kind of a flavor. But I was lucky disappointed that they came out with this one. So I really wish they come out with vanilla or sweet candy in the future. But then I have read something very sad that uh, vanilla has been discontinued in a lot of countries. Uh, I'm not so sure, but uh, at least before they discontinue completely, I wish they actually launch in India. I will actually stock it up. Like, like my life depends on it. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. If they launch the vanilla or the sweet candy flavor or even the gummy bear flavor tomorrow, now I have these full size versions, right? So even if they launch it tomorrow, I will still buy it. Yeah, I will still buy it. <laughs> now coming to the formula of these lip balms, they are really, really moisturizing. It is thick at the same time. It is not that sticky or it doesn't feel like an oil. It's pretty light on the lips and it makes your lips actually plump and hydrated. Like in the morning when you wake up, it is supple. So I don't know how else to say it, like a very ripe fruit. That's how your lips will be like. So I really like the formula of these. It's not sticky. I have used some lip balms, which is just like straight up like oil, you know, just apply oil. Or it's some, some of the lip balms are like so thick that it actually has a white film on your lips. This is not like that at all. I have actually right now applied the berry flavor. I took off my lipstick some time back, if you have not noticed. And this is all that is left of the berry flavor. So I just take a little bit on my lips. And that's it. That's all I have to use. Even if you're sitting in a Zoom call or something, it will look like you're wearing actually a gloss, but with a moisturizing kind of a feeling. And now let's talk about if these lip balms work or not. Now, I love lip balms. There are two reasons why. The first reason is because I am a addicted to matte liquid lipstick. Now, the second reason why I like lip balm is because I am a dehydrated person. I am guilty of not drinking enough water because of which my lips become kind of dry. So these two together is a worse combination for your lips and in turn, lip balms saves the day for me. So this one, this particular berry mini size version, it is in the brink of getting over. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it is almost over right now. Now, the first time I got was a mini one in berry. This is the second time that I repurchased and then now is what I splurged and I got the full size version of grapefruit and apple lime. Now about how long these actually last. So the mini size version, they actually lasted me for like six months. And this is by applying it in the nighttime. Like I'll go for work in the morning and then I will come back, wash my face and freshen up and everything and then apply the lip balm. And before sleeping again, I'll reapply a little bit. And then that used to last for me for six months. And that's when I repurchased this one, the second one. Now coming to the full size version, I am sure these will last for a minimum of a year. So if you have to apply only once a day, like, you know, in the nighttime alone, then I'm sure it will go more than a year. But then if you're going to apply like in the morning, afternoon, night and everything, I think it will be a maximum of one year. Yeah. 
about the cons of this Laneige lip sleeping mask the first one has to be the price point I do know that it is a bit expensive even the mini version which is only 8 grams of product that is like 500 rupees wherein the average lip balms in the market in India they are close to 200 maximum like 250-ish now the second con to do is if you're going for the mini size version you do not get the spatula thingy and you have to dig in your fingers and get it trust me initially I was so hesitant to pick this up only because of that reason because I can spare 500 rupees but I was really hesitant about digging my finger and applying it so for me that's not a preferential way or mode of applying it but then trust me because of the formula I do like it I'm kind of like okay with it right now and even my best friend she was hesitant about the exact same reason that she has to dig in her finger and applying it because almost everyone are kind of used to the normal that bullet kind of a uh, lip balm and you know you do not kind of opt for digging your finger in and applying it so that was one thing that I have noticed to be a con now that is for the mini size version wherein the full size version you do get the spatula and everything so I think I'm used to using my fingers to apply it I think I may continue using my fingers itself for the full size version as well but I'm just saying that digging and applying has been a cause of concern for a few of them like me but then you will get used to it but each their own you know and last but not the least if you are a first time buyer i would highly suggest you buy the mini size version now i know that in nika a lot of times it is out of stock but if you can catch hold of it catch if you can catch hold of it then please do buy the mini size version and then splurge on the full size if you like it because i have noticed a few mixed reviews about these it's like skincare it could work for one person for other person it may not work so do get a mini version first of the berry flavor if you like it then go for the full size version once it gets over and for those who have already purchased it or if you're looking into buying the full size version the best smell wise you know smell wise the first one will be the berry flavor for me it smells amazing sweet berry is always good for me and it's kind of strong which I don't mind the second best will be apple lime because like I said it smells a little bit more of green apple than lime which I personally like and last but not the least is a grapefruit which is not that bad but just personally I do not prefer a citrusy smelling lip balms I rather prefer a sweet or a candy smelling lip balms oh and a quick tip for those who do not like it or something and you have it like lying around and you do not know what to do with it you could actually use this like a cuticle cream on your fingernails because I have been guilty of you know like working and taking some extra on my finger and applying it with the leftover I don't like wipe it off I mean like I do because my laptop will get dirty but before that I actually apply the excess on my nails and it is spick and span so you can actually use it like a cuticle cream as well so just a quick tips for you guys now I do not know if you guys know this this is not sponsored or anything I got all of these with my own hard-earned freaking money and uh, I just genuinely love this product and that's the reason why I thought I'd make a video uh, hoping that it will actually be helpful uh, so yeah so guys this wraps up today's video i hope it was helpful and informative if it was do not forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to notify whenever i upload as well as like the video and comment down below if you have any questions or requests i will try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's Nishanayar on instagram and it's Nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye